Whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Your humans slaughter each other because of the color of your skin, or your faith, or your plitics, or for no reason at all, too many of you hate as easily as you draw breath, Magneto. Life is never completely without its challenges. I guess one person can make a difference. Face front, true believers. We all wish we had superpowers. We all wish we could do more than we can do. Superheroes in New York, give me a break. When you work with people who you like and you admire, because they're so good at what they do, it doesn't feel like work. It's like you're playing. I think people have always loved things that are bigger than life, things that are imaginative. No matter how good a story is, if you're at a newsstand and you see a lot of comic books, you don't know how good the story is unless you read it. But you can spot the artwork instantly, and you know whether you like the artwork, whether it grabs you or not. I love Marvel and the people there. I'm glad I am still part of it. If you're writing about a character, if he's a powerful character, unless you give him vulnerability, I don't think he'll be as interesting to the reader. We're living in a world where everything moves very quickly. We've become a very visual society, so I think it's a very natural thing that people are captivated with the illustrations in a story. Achilles, without his heel, you wouldn't even know his name today. If Shakespeare and Michelangelo were alive today, and if they decided to collaborate on a comic, Shakespeare would write the script and Michelangelo would draw it. How could anybody say that this wouldn't be as worthwhile an art form as any on earth? No one has a perfect life. Everybody has something that he wishes was not the way it is. Comic books to me are fairy tales for grown-ups. A superhero's catchphrase should be like a really memorable advertising slogan. It sticks in your head and you can't stop humming it. And let's face it, superheroes are just really selling themselves as products. The only advice anybody can give is, if you want to be a writer, keep writing. And read all you can. Read everything. Wives should be kissed, not heard.